Hey, Ramon, I bet you were expecting a Platinum update today. April Fools, you're getting one anyway. Yeah, I didn't feel like doing an April Fools this year because they're somewhat dumb. Anyway, um, at the uh, suggestion of someone in the comments, I am back in the Veilstone department store uh, to pick up Reflect and Light Screen because, um, as it was pointed out, I do have uh, some moves on my team that are not really being used, and these will be good for team support, and I agree with the idea that these will be pretty useful, so... Looking over the team here, a good number of them have moves I don't really use a whole lot. I've never used Nasty Plot, because I've never really seen the reason to. Um, I've used pretty much all of these. Yawn, not as much, but whatever. Uh, here's the big offender. Um, last Resort, I never get a chance to use, and Uproar is kind of a sucky move. So I think these are going to be the two to go. Um, these are all pretty good. And here... I don't really need Worry Seed, but I'm going to hold on to it anyway, because I'd rather just get rid of both of the uh, moves off of Lugosi there, because it, it'll be like my defensive mon, I guess. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and do these. Um, for those who don't know how these moves work, uh, Reflect and Light Screen basically have the effects of um, physical and special attacks, respectively, and... They last for, I think, five turns, and it basically covers the entire team. So, like, I can use these and then switch out. And there is an item called the uh, Light Clay that lets you extend the length of these moves. If I ever find one, I'll probably put it on them, but I don't have one currently, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this place. I already healed. I'm going to go back to Foggy Route, so we'll get to go through some exciting times over there. Um... Again, I probably should bring Defog to make it less of a pain in the ass. I'm kind of having like an internal debate right now how I want to handle this. Yeah. Yeah, anything that I need uh, Becky for, I can always backtrack, because I don't think I need the HMs to progress. They're probably just like covering items, so I'll just come back. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, I caught a Tropius off screen and a Krogonk. Actually, you know what? Tropius, I think you can learn basically all the HMs. Let me see. This is going to be an exciting playthrough right here. Yeah, I think you can learn all, th all four of these. So, I may not keep it around as my permanent HM user, but, uh,. You know what, for right now, it's a hell of a lot more convenient than my other ones, so. When do you get strength in this game? Is that from Iron Island? I don't remember. Okay. So yeah, you'll be my, uh, m I, I don't know what I was going to call you, like, Pokemon of much toil. I have no clue what that was supposed to mean. Anyway, off we go into foggy areas, and then we get to talk about my next uh, playthrough in line, which actually right here, this freaking chance is showing up, um, ties into it pretty well, but I'll actually get to that in a minute. Um, the last one I talked about was Soul Silver, and kind of like in the middle of that game, I think like after I finished the Elite Four, but before I started doing the Kanto stuff, I started another playthrough. And for those who watched my, like, um, wow, I can't think of the term, the, um, gym leader fight videos of the Soul Silver playthrough, um, you would be aware of this because I ended up talking about it a bit and, like, kind of had stuff uploaded along with it. But either way, um, I did a Nuzlocke of Platinum around that time, and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing that, like, really had no reason to exist. I'm just making sure I got everything here, which it looks like I did. Um, but it was being done in a very strange way, because, as I mentioned before, I had no intention of deleting my original Platinum file. Uh, one reason f is because of the secret key, the Rotom forms. You can't get those again if you reset. 
and also just I didn't want to lose my team and all that stuff, so whatever. Um, so what I ended up doing was I started the game, and basically, like, I already had the other file, like, still saved onto the game, but I started a new game and then just went through the entire thing without saving. So this was a playthrough that lasted about a month, possibly a bit longer, I don't remember for exact. Um, but it was one really long playthrough in which the three, uh, three DS, in which the uh, DS was not able to be shut off at any point. So I had to be pretty careful about like making sure it was always charged and didn't like accidentally take the game out or anything like that. But it actually went fairly well. Um, if you are one of the few people who does not know what a Nuzlocke run is, um, I imagine most people watching this know about them. Um, Nuzlocke runs are basically where fainting equals dying. Like, if you uh, if your Pokemon faints, it's gone for good, and you have to, like, get another team member. And one of the other rules that's, in, like, put into effect in these playthroughs is you uh, have to catch the first Pokemon from each route and you can't use anything else. So, I did follow those two rules. I was a little bit lax on the uh, fainting equals dying thing, though, because what I ended up doing in this playthrough was if it died from a trainer, then it was gone from good, <laughs> gone for good. If it uh, died in a wild battle, then I would have exactly one minute to get to a Pokemon Center to heal it. And if I didn't get there in time, then it was gone. I did that because there's a lot of grinding involved, and I it's a little bit of a cheap way out, but it made it more enjoyable. I didn't want to like completely fuck up the entire playthrough because of like a Graveler using Explosion or whatever. So, um, the team I ended up going with in this game obviously changed a bit throughout the playthrough because of deaths. Speaking of deaths, I believe this trainer fight right here was actually the end of uh, two of my Pokemon. So I started out with Piplup, kept it all the way through the game, evolved it into Empoleon. It was named Francor, which is a uh, reference to a like children's book that I wrote in like first grade, I think. Frank or the Penguin. There's more that could go into that story, but I'm gonna leave it at that for right now. Um, then I had a Shinx, which I don't know if it ever made it to Luxray. I know it at least made it to Luxio. Um, it was named Cleo. A Crobat named Rouge. I'm looking at my list here of stuff I used early on in the game. Um, Rosalia was called Rosalina. Graveler was Rocco. I think those were most of the early ones. Um, Rocco, Rosalina, and... Cleo ended up dying at the uh, the guy on the like swampy route with the Kadabra killed one of them and this double battle I think killed two other ones. I don't remember which was which but I remember those two fights being like the bad ones and then um, basically like again I'm, I'm kind of going through this really haphazardly in my mind trying to remember like when team members came in but uh, one of the mainstays of the team was a Chansey that I managed to catch on Route 209 with the uh, Lost Tower on it. Um, that one was uh, particularly noteworthy because, first of all, it's a Chansey. You don't really find those very often, and it was really lucky that I managed to run into it as the first Pokemon on the route. And so, as a result, I ended up naming it after Vrna, because my reasoning at the time was I was lucky to have found it. It's very cheesy, but it held out, it turned out being true, because that was like before we had ever met in person, and obviously things are still going well, so. Cheesy nickname, but it worked. Um, and I was extremely protective of this freaking Chansey throughout the entire playthrough, and it evolved into Blissey after not very long, but. Um, anybody who's ever used one of them knows that they have the physical defense of a paper towel, basically. And so, 
what I ended up having to do throughout a good chunk of the playthrough was, um, I had to, like, look up the actual movesets of major fights. Like, not only gym leaders, but also, like, Team Galactic members and just random stuff here and there. Because if they carried a physical move, chances are I would not get through it without dying. So I had to be extremely careful about that. It kind of, I guess, made the run a little bit cheap in some ways, because I probably should have just gone through not knowing what all the trainers had, but I wasn't going to risk it. Um, so there was that one. I picked up a Eevee, which I evolved into Espeon, or I'm sorry, uh, Umbreon. Nicknamed it uh, smash -O, which is just a home movies reference. Scyther, I don't know if you have any bug moves, but I'm not going to risk it. Uh, Shockwave. And later on in the game, I got a Magnazone called Zonko and a Lucario named Partario, which is a reference to uh, Look Around You, which is this weird British fake educational show. It's weird, but it's funny. Um, ooh, am I going to die? Shit. This route is not really working out in my favor here. Anyways, um, so that was the team for a good portion of the game, was uh, Empoleon, Blissey, Umbreon, Magnazone, Crobat, and Lucario. And that was the plan, that was the one I uh, planned on taking to the Elite Four. However, at some point, either at the 8th gym, or shortly after it, I don't remember which, um, both uh, Rouge the Crobat and Partario the Lucario ended up dying. And that kind of messed with my plans a bit. Is there a weird noise going on? Hold on, what is that? Uh, no, it's not the game. Okay. Ignore me. So... Anyway, like I'm saying, the, the plan got kind of messed up because of that, and because they ended up dying and I didn't want to raise up another, like, wild-caught Pokemon from scratch just to replace them, I ended up going with Legendaries, because I had caught the Giratina, and I had actually also gone out of my way to catch all three of the uh, Lake Trio. So, that in itself should probably go with some explanation, because... It sounds questionable if I just say it like that. Um, I did actually make, like, sure to basically not catch anything or run into anything in any of the lakes. I think Lake Valor, or Lake... V whichever one is at the beginning, it doesn't matter because Mesprit's a runner anyway, but, um... That's what happened then. I, like... I just didn't run into anything in those areas, and I, like, came back, caught the pixies. I just brought, like, a buttload of dusk balls and managed to get lucky with all of them. Um, Giratina, kind of same thing. Mesprit, or I usually pronounce it Mesprit, but, uh, Mesprit, I basically, I'm trying to think how I will. I, like, since you run into all of them really late in the game, I, uh, I'm sorry, my mind is, like, completely on the fritz right now. There's the route, like, between the hotel area and Sunny Shore. Um, I made sure to not encounter anything there, and I basically went into the route, like, prepared to catch Mesprit there. And, um... I, like, had repels with, like, a level 40 or whatever it was that made sure I would encounter it, and I just chucked the Master Ball at it and caught it. Um, ended up not using it, but I did want to make sure I caught the whole trio. Then I, uh, had used... Yeah, it was, uh, Giratina and Yuxi were the ones I picked up for the team. Yuxi specifically because it's more defensive, and I felt like that would be more useful for the playthrough. Um, and they did have nicknames. Uh, Giratina was Salazar, and the Lake Trio were, uh, Din, Nehru, and Feror, named after, like, their traits, basically. So Yuxi was Nehru, because it's the, like, intelligent one. So, that was my final team going into the Elite Four. I had two legendaries. It was maybe a little bit cheap, but I don't give a shit. 
this is not going so well here. Um, perhaps don't mess with Fire Blast, that would be nice. But, long story short, let's send out Tropius here. Um, is this, this only, is this the guy's only Pokemon? I'm kind of hoping it is. I am going to... Do I have revives? Let me find out. Yes, I do. Okay. Save state. See if I can kill it with fly after the game decides to freeze because I save stated. Come on now. There you go. But yeah, like I was saying though, long story short, I did get through the entire Elite Four without any casualties and um, ended up recording the entire thing, not as a video, but just as an audio file. And um, I actually forgot I had Fly. I made the backtracking earlier much more annoying than it had to be. But yeah, recorded the whole thing as an audio file. It's, um, I believe it is still uploaded and it's like accessible in one of the videos from a long time ago. I will dig that out and post it in the video description for anybody who wants to listen to it. I honestly don't know if I want people to listen to it because it got really freaking emotional at the end, but whatever, it's there. I'm not gonna like hide it, so. Basically the reason it got emotional is because um, this was a playthrough that, as I mentioned, I wasn't able to save, and so I had invested this good amount of time into raising this team up, and they were going to basically get, like vanish after the playthrough was over, and I was kind of sad about that. So, oh, for God's sake, really? I legitimately didn't see that good. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and use one of the screens or both of them, I guess, after getting poisoned, because that screen really protected me there. Uh, <laughs> here I was going to use Thunder, now my accuracy is down. I'm going to use it one time, let's see if it hits. Okay, cool. Can, can we not do that? C can you stop with the freaking smoke screen, please? I uh, don't want to stay in the fight with a uh, massively reduced accuracy, so whatever. Anyway, I think I was basically done explaining the Nuzlocke run. I went into more detail on that than I really had any reason to, but it was one of my more interesting playthroughs. It was the only time I ever bothered with a Nuzlocke because after this one, I was basically burnt out and like, you know what, this was too, like, emotionally distressing. I don't want to do it again. Is there stuff? Yeah, I already got that. Okay. But yeah, clearly my mind is all over the place in this video, so let's just try to get through the freaking route and move on with our lives here. A lot of ace trainers here. Or maybe you're not one. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, now that I'm done talking about the playthrough, it's like I don't even have any idea what to talk about anymore. And here I am being forced to use Thunder again because it put up a Reflect. That didn't do as much damage as I thought. I don't remember. Is Noctowl, like, specially defensive? I guess it must be. I did use one once, but that's a story for another day. And the story is, I used a Knocked Owl once. It was okay. It's a good story. What's your deal? You better not be a Dragon Tamer. Uh. Okay, Tangela, I can live with that. Well, someone's getting a Fire Blast to the face. Really? Are you going to survive this with, like, a pixel? Yeah, pretty much. A little bit more than a pixel, but I was not too far off with that prediction. Alright, what else you got? Freaking ponies. Alright, um... You are 
Eh, whatever engine power, I guess. I swear, Sponge is like carrying this team far more than I ever expected him to. Okay, I'm very glad that takedown missed. And boy, is all I think I can deal with you. Unless it randomly has like ice beam or something. Which it does not appear to. Okay. Okay, is that it for this route? I believe that's pretty close to everything, at least. There's a good amount of stuff that you need um, surf and waterfall and rock climb for, and I do not have any of those yet, so I'll have to be coming back for them at some other point. I'm about to get surf really soon here, but whatever. How you get that out? I'm just surf. Or, yeah, I guess you need a waterfall for that, too. Okay, so that was that route. Now we're in not quite Eterna City. Here we have plot related things. Nope. The closest place to space, okay. That's kinda arbitrary, but alright. Oh yeah. I remember this, because I don't know why there's a distinction being made. It's like, hey, there's no Pokemart, but there's a place that just acts exactly like one. So, why? I guess because this town is supposed to be, like, old-fashioned mom-and-pop stores, so it doesn't have, like, the brand name. I don't know. Is that it? You know what, I think this guy gives you different glasses items depending on what time of day it is. If I remember right, or maybe you just have to talk to him multiple times. I probably have to come back another day. Um, because there's also, like, the tinted lens. No, that's a I don't forget what it is. There's, like, other glasses items, like the choice specs or whatever. Um, which are actually fairly useful, but, eh. Do I have enough healing items? I used a good amount on that route. I've got... yeah. I'm kind of graduating past days, I guess, so I don't need those as much. That'll be fine. I, I was gonna make a Hotel Mario reference, but I did not, because I'm above the such things. Hmm. Well, you know what? I've been staring at this cross on the bottom of the screen the entire time. Let's go ahead and switch to the analog watch, because why not? I can even push it, and it will light up slightly. Okay, I'll stop. Odd Spaceman. You, you probably still could, unless your Pokémon died. And here's just kind of a birdhouse. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but okay. King's Rock. That is fine by me, actually. You know what? Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> sound. All right. No, not not song. Just sound. So yeah, you have a King's Rock because you're relatively fast. Um, I will have to actually double check later if any of her moves can cause flinching, because I know there's like a restriction. Like, stuff that already has a secondary effect usually can't do it. So I think that means Thunder won't be able to, but... I don't think Volt Tackle can paralyze. I actually don't remember for sure. If it doesn't, then, um... I think I'll be able to get flinching off of that move. They say it has been here, but nobody's really sure. Okay, off you go. Let's go ahead and, uh... For the record, this, uh... This Tropius here is completely superior to Becky in every way, in terms of, like, usability in battle and the HMs that it can carry, but I don't care. Becky is my honorary sixth team member for right now, and she gets to stay. Also, you probably will battle me, so let's see. Let's use not my leveled stuff. Let's test out that flinch thing. A little out of the ordinary, huh? So what are you gonna have, like, a Luminion? I'm guessing you're probably not. I'm guessing you're just gonna have a Mr. Mime. Yup. 
Oh, and it had ball stuff. I forget what it's called. Anyway, Volt Tackle to the face. Okay. Ah. Clearly because that time it missed, that means that it... Or that time it didn't flinch, that means it never will. No, I will actually look that up at some point. Cadabra, you can... Get... Attacked, I don't know. I don't really have anything super effective against you except for Astonish, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, maybe fall asleep. Maybe fall asleep again. Maybe fall asleep again. Okay. Come on. Oh, well, someone's an asshole. Yeah. I'm thinking this one's not gonna go so well. There we go. To sleep anyway. Is this thing just, like, allergic to attacking me all of a sudden? Not that I'm complaining, but... I thought the AI got better after Gen 1, and it's, like, using Miracle Eye for no reason. Alright, anyways. That sure was <laughs> useless trivia. Okay. Heal again. Again, there's plot-related stuff in this town. I've just been putting it off. There's also a very short route over here with people I can fight. I don't think I'm going to do it yet. So, let's just go up here. You know, for such a big building, like, compared to some of the other ones, this one really doesn't have a lot in it. Okay. Nope, things were exactly the same. D does it have pictures? Can I look at the pictures and get them registered? No, of course I can't. That would be easy. Not particularly, but sure. But, um, for the record, the reason I usually say Meesprit, um, even though I don't think it's technically correct, is because, um, aside from these three being, uh, Pixie, Sprite, and Elf, the beginning parts of them, I think, are supposed to be, like, you, me, and us. Us being the same as as is kind of a stretch, but that's why I say Uxie instead of Uxie, Meesprit instead of Mesprit. I'm gonna stick with it until I'm told otherwise, I don't know. I've never seen the way that they're pronounced in the anime or Battle Revolution or anything. Okay, are you gonna get out of my way? And then he just sends out the Galactic Bomb as his Pokémon. It's just an Electrode with, like, a G shittily, like, finger-painted onto its forehead. Not just painted, finger-painted. Uh, I guess Shockwave, maybe. If I can put it to... Oh, actually, this thing has Early Bird, doesn't it? Yeah, let's not even bother with that. Ugh. Also, as many people have pointed out, I do enjoy how, like, the, uh potions and super potions are like these man-made things specifically made for healing and yet just a bottle of water is just as good as a super potion and lemonade is like significantly better than a super potion. It's really stupid. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of this gold out. It's gonna outspeed me so no chance to touch. Oh, actually never mind. I did speed it. That's unusual. Golbat's pretty fast, so... I don't have... I mean, I guess it's a 9-level difference, but still. I always look at baby Pokémon as having really low stats. I'm kind of surprised I outsped that thing. Okay, there we go. And so here we have... Oh, yeah, 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 what do you want? I actually forgot I even got the charm. I thought I was just supposed to, like, ask for something. I don't even remember. Anyway, here we have a rather hilarious drawing of Dialga, which honestly just looks like a weird 
lizard dog thing with like extra legs coming out of its back. And here we have, I'm not really sure what to call that, a T-Rex with a tumor on its arm, but yeah. And in here we have stick figures, yay, stick figures. I like how you can actually tell which ones they're supposed to be though. Yeah, Sinnoh has pretty decent mythology. A lot of people complain because uh, there's too many legendaries in this region, and I don't really mind that, but some of them are kind of superfluous and not really tied into the rest of them. Those could probably have been put off until a later generation, but oh well. I like the main ones at least. The world is incomplete. First, I will destroy this cave painting. For no real reason. I just feel like being a douche. Um... I don't think I am prepared for this fight. I honestly didn't remember that there was a fight here, so... Okay, he's only got three. If only I had any fighting moves. Uh, you probably have Ice Shard, which I'm not really looking forward to getting attacked by. Sponge is already overleveled compared to the rest, but I don't care. I'm gonna hit you with a Ancient Power. Also, I should probably not speed up this music, because this is good. This is good song. Come on, don't die. Possibly do a decent amount of damage with this. Why am I even... I'm like, why am I using Ancient Power when I could be using Fire Blast? I I don't know. I'm being really stupid right now. But let's go ahead and tank this thing with my slightly boosted stats, I suppose. God, when I'm, like, not speeding stuff up, things are, like, painfully slow. That actually relates to one other thing I forgot to mention about the Nuzlocke run. Um, since that team did get lost into the reset game void, um, I did eventually want to recreate it and didn't ever do that for a really long time, but I eventually did get around to it last year. Um, minus the two legendaries, so it was like the four that survived plus uh, Lucario and Crobat, because I considered that my main team throughout the game. I did not look at what he's sending out next. Um, but yeah, it's like I was going to level them up to like 50 or 60 so that they'd be around the same point where they were. I think they were probably in their 70s, honestly, when I did the Elite Four. But um, yeah, I did recreate the team and I was starting to level them up. And then I'm like so used to the better leveling systems in Gen 5 and 6 that it got really annoying to deal with. And I... I think I stopped around, like, the mid-30s. So, the team is recreated in spirit, but I could not be arsed to level them up all the way. Alright, so let's see if I can get rid of this freaking Golbat here. I like how its leg looks like a stripe on the wing there. Nothing particularly interesting about that statement, but it was somewhat funky looking. Therefore, I had to address it. Oh, Murkrow. Your, your stats do not match like as good of a design as you are. I'm very glad you got an evolution, though. Ugh. Really? Okay. Um, I really didn't want Sponge to do this whole fight. Let me at least get a Paralysis in here, I don't know. Or maybe not. Jesus, okay. Let's, uh, get up. Reflect, I guess. Or I could just die. Alright, <laughs> will I be able to beat the Murkrow? That's the real question now. 
Ugh. I really don't like when I only have one Pokemon that's, like, winning all the battles, but I guess it can't be helped. You, you can stop that drill pack anytime you're ready. God. And, of course, I had a healing item. Alright, let's use another milk. Get attacked yet again. Okay, that did less than the drill pack, at least. I'm waiting for the critical. Come on, really? Here, keep drinking a bunch of milk. It'll help. Oh, fuck off, game. Okay. And this is... Why have I not put you to sleep yet? I seriously keep... Oh, that, that would be part of the reason. Okay. But yeah, I keep forgetting I have Yawn. And it's been kind of a problem because there's times when it would be very useful. Thank you for the stat boost. Don't feel like using all my milks. Oh, that was a full heal anyway. Okay. And let's hopefully kill this thing with fire. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, I was not prepared for that fight in the slightest. I like how she's just completely, like, blasé about the whole thing. Like, oh, he's gonna, like, destroy the universe or whatever. Eh. <laughs> it's like, if some random person was blabbering about that, like, you wouldn't think that they were being serious anyway, but... This is in a region where there literally are legendaries that can do that, and she knows about them. So, that's probably something you should be concerned about. Anyway, whole point of all that, I got Surf. Surf is a pretty good move. I don't think any of my team members can learn it. No, they can't. Um, there is a Water-type baby that I will be not finding until the end of the game. It's probably going to get Surf once I get to that point. Azuril might be able to learn it, even though it's not a water type. I don't plan on using Azuril, though. So I don't think Surf is actually going to be on my main team. Oh yeah, they were super fun. They were like a round cave with nothing in them, except for a painting. Hmm, ancient books. Okay, whatever. So. Point is, we got Surf. Um... And you know what? There's been something in this playthrough that has been seriously overdue. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Can I actually get into the grass here without getting battled? Yes, I can. There's also a Pokeball there. I would like to get Becky to evolve here because then it becomes part water and can presumably learn Surf. So, that will be useful to my needs. Can we please kill the wild bronze ore without any dramatics here? Didn't even get a level up. See, this is why I seriously like the uh, Gen 5 and higher leveling system so much better, because catching stuff up that fell behind is much less annoying. So I'm just gonna do a couple more battles here, and I will be back when the evolution happens. There we go. Didn't take too many fights. So yeah, still not going to be used on the team except for like the rare... What am I trying to say here? Like desperate moments when I just need like one last hit done, but... Becky has finally evolved into Bee Barrel, which I don't know why it's called that. And... No, no, you're not going to learn Water Gun. You are going to learn Surf, though. Alright, so I can now Surf on Yonder Beaver. Um, which opens up a fair amount of stuff in previous routes. I do have to clear the trainers out of this one. And then the next thing the game wants me to do is to go to Canalive City, which I think I am most likely going to be putting off in lieu of going around and seeing what I can access with Surf. So, 
next time probably a bunch of that.